we are here to launch the alternative routes as well. And, and then very, very importantly is for us to launch the sustainable green transport policy uh, in Gauteng. It is a draft policy document. We are releasing it for public comment today because we think it's critical for the future of our province to get sustainable transport, to look at the environmental issues, the impact of transport on the environment, mm -hmm. and the negative impact, in fact, pollution, the materials that we use to construct our roads, etc. What's the impact of that on the environment? And can we begin to develop our roads network, etc., using sustainable development principles so that we have a lot of recycling taking place using uh, material that is not used in other contexts for, for, for our own construction work and those kinds of things. So the, the applications that we are launching today uh, represents the creative use of technology for promoting public transport. It is a simple, easy to use tool to be on the move in Gauteng. Go Gauteng is an important step forward in realizing the vision of our department in establishing a fully fledged or fully <coughs> developed passenger information and communication system as described both in our five-year Gauteng transport implementation plan, that's the short-term plan, and the 25-year integrated transport master plan, which is really the medium-term plan that we are working on. Some of us might remember that when we launched the, the, the five-year Gauteng transport implementation plan, these are the immediate things that we, we felt were important for us to begin to work on. That plan identified a number of key short-term initiatives needed to make an impact on the transport landscape. One of those initiatives is an integrated passenger information and communication system. Until now, I think as has been explained, we've been working in silos. If you go onto your phone, you'll see Gautrain has got an application, but it's Gautrain. Uh, I think Via Raya has got its application, but it's Via Raya. Metro Rail has got its application, but it's Metro Rail. But what we, we're really talking about is integrating that the system. I think we want our public to get an understanding of a transport, a public, a public transport system in our province. And this kind of technology, particularly for the new generation, or the younger generation, they are very fast with this thing. Their fingers move faster than the tongues. <laughs> so they're very fast at this thing. But it catches on. And then you get an idea of a system. Uh, we will be also looking at new, complete new branding. This slogan, Gauteng on the move, should be on every bus, every train, every taxi in our province. We hope that we can print thousands of those stickers and paste them on every form of public transport uh, in our province, including a bicycle. <laughs> including a bicycle, because it's a mode of transport. And if anybody is using horse and cart, we'll find a way of sticking the sticker on the back of the horse also. <laughs> how them on the move. How them on the move. Wherever you go, how them on the move. Then, then in the consciousness of people, they say, oh, there's a system. It's one thing. At the moment, I don't think our people understand that we are building an integrated public transportation system. So these kinds of applications help us to, uh, it's of practical use for people. Um, and it helps our people to plan their journey, to be managing their time more effectively, and to receive timely information. I think the two-way interaction is absolutely important for us. This application will consist of modes of transport that can be used in and around Houteng, and it is aimed at public commuters. It will serve as an effective planning instrument for public transport users. It will also include the station stops, location and distance, operational times and announcements, this is yet another success story in our celebration of 20 years of democracy as a country. The advent of fast, reliable and affordable wireless internet communication has made it possible for travel information to be disseminated timelessly and reliably via mobile phones, websites, electronic signs and applications such as the one we are launching today. We aim to take advantage of, of the technology that exists to reach our goals. This has led to a partnership with the Innovation Hub, located within the Department of Economic Development, to create an app that will encompass all public transport modes and operators. Over time, 
uh, this application should be further developed to provide real-time passenger information and should be extended, as I said earlier on, to include a wider range of public transport operations, such as the taxi services in our province.